Hello, this is Carrier again, and I have another video today for you. Today I'm gonna to be talking about what I got for Christmas. Um, first of all, the best thing I got for Christmas was you guys, having all you guys watch, subscribe, and um, share all my videos. That's been the best and the most amazing thing ever. Um, then my wife got me a whole bunch of other stuff which I'll talk about, but before I start, I wanna um, uh, show you guys. This is from the Coloring Planner. And uh, this is the smaller version of the coloring planner. There'll be a link to this video right up here where you guys can enter and have a chance to win um, one of these planners or the matching journal. All right, so now that that's out of the way, let's get started with the stuff that I got for Christmas. Besides you guys, which is amazing and you guys are amazing, um, I got a bunch of stuff from my wife. She got me a gift card to the art store. And um, with that gift stuff card, I brought all sorts of goodies. First, I got a, um, I got a different water pen. Um, this is a smaller water pen than the one I had before because people said the reason I didn't like them was because this water pen was too big. So I got a smaller size. Um, let me see if you guys can see the size difference. So the new one that I got is much smaller. I still don't like them. So um, I just don't think that they're for me. I just, I just don't like it. Um, so there's that. I just don't feel like I have as much control as I do when using a, a regular um, paintbrush. But it's nice to have two because then I can, um, at the very least, I can just have them and, you know, in case I want to try something out or in case, you know, I change my mind in the future. Because, you know, we change, so um, I'll be able to see if I like these again in the future. So that's the water pen. Um, I already had a set of the Landscape Sennelier oil pastels, but um, I didn't have a regular set. The the, lands the set that I had didn't come with the regular colors, so, um, so this set has all the same information that was in the larger set. Um, so these are the... These are the oil pastels, and if you haven't seen my video on the oil pastels, there'll be a link to the video right up here on um, using different kinds of pastels for coloring books. And it was really nice. I was afraid that I was going to get a whole bunch of duplicates, but the only duplicate I got was um, white was a duplicate, and I'm going to replace this white with a um, with a colorless blender. And I think one of the blue was a duplicate, and everything else was a brand new. The the other thing is that it came with a free. Um, and we all love free. It came with a free um, oil pastel notebook because I wanted to see this um, oil pastel notebook. It's super expensive. I think the oil pastel notebook was like 20 bucks for this small size or something along those lines. It's really expensive. Um, so it was nice to see, but also to see like, first of all, this is super thick paper. Um, the weight I think is like 160 pound paper uh, and it has two sheets. So it has one sheet to cover the front and the the next page so every page there's like a foil there's like a colorless um sheet to cover every single page so that's really helpful to prevent the um i guess to help control the oils so that comes in this notebook right here so this is a specialized um oil pastel pad and in the coming weeks uh i'm going to be doing a video on how to basically how to get any coloring media any coloring page that you like onto um, another surface um, using some special paper that I saw online. So I'm going to be talking about that in the coming weeks. So I got this. So I'm going to be able to use, I'm going to be able to do what I wanted to do, which is color using the oil pastel. So that's going to be really, really exciting. So that was the oil pastels. Um, so that's this. I'm trying to figure out where to put everything because my wife went all out. Then, in addition to everything else she got me, she got me this, which is amazing. This is a, hold on, I'm gonna have to pan out to show you how big that is. Compare that to my hand, and you see how big that that is. And so what this is, is this is a watercolor paper block, and if you've never seen these before, these are really cool because um, it's watercolor paper, but it, it like it's glued down on all four sides so that the paper is not only less likely to buckle but it will also stay in place until you're finished and then when you finish you can you know lift it from whichever side to work on the next page so that this way you don't have to tape the paper down or anything like that because it's already held down so that was that uh she got me a starbucks gift card which is great um thanks to you guys' tips i'm gonna try to do some filming at starbucks it's gonna take some experimenting but i really would like to do some on the road filming and talk to you about some different things to keep in mind when you're coloring on the road so that's gonna be really exciting um i use this to get the other stuff that i 
I needed for to do some more to, to do some more tutorials. Basically, this is also from my wife. All of this stuff is from my wife. Um, this is for like I ended up getting some paint brushes, a palette to be able to lay down the color and stuff like that. So, and I also got this. Uh, let me show you. Uh, hold on, this is some sketches that I did. Okay, so these are. This is the Neo Color. Um, the Neo Color pencils too, and um, these are basically like crayons, except that they're water soluble. And Karen Dosh has um, Karen Dosh has uh, watercolor ones, and they also have just regular old wax crayons. And these are basically crayons that are water water soluble. And um, oh, you can actually kind of see here. Part of the reason why I don't like the because I did all of these with a the regular paintbrush, and then I did this one with the watercolor with the um with the water brush um with the water pen and I had all that water come out but anyway but that's neither here nor there so the way that these works is this works similar to the way that the um that the watercolor pencils work is you lay it down and then and then you so you're not supposed to all right, so then you get some water on here and you, you know, you're not supposed to, they, they told me, many people have told me you're not supposed to squeeze, you're not supposed to push down, you're just supposed to spread, but then this happens and, uh, you know, I, I, eh, I, I'm, I'm not a fan. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. So the, this, I did these with the regular paintbrush and then I did these with the, watercolor brush and the thing that's different about these than the Albert Durer watercolor pencils is that after this dries right then you can still go back and reuse this so this might be see it's dry but you can still continue to lift the paint and you can re-wet it and then move it around which I I'm not sure how I feel about that that may have some uses oh look at all that excess water all right so this is uh, yeah all right, we've discussed my opinion, my opinion on water pens before. There's no need to keep going over it. But then there's this. Okay, so I'm going to have to leave this up so that that can dry. <sighs> but this is the creme de la creme. This is Sennelier, and these are the same brand that makes the oil pastels. My wife got me a set of artist grade watercolor paints and so the set came with a 12 plus six free there's cats everywhere look look i think it's because my wife is out of town and it's just me in the house but there's cats everywhere um so there's that so um so this are artist artist grade watercolor paints um and it came with a set of 12 plus six more and then i added three more colors so i added the let's see i added the burnt umber i added the blue india tree which somebody will correct me about my pronunciation um apparently some people really don't like my my imperfect pronunciation really annoys some people i didn't know but you who knew um a plathio blue deep um so there is that. So then I used a little bit of this and you can see, but this, this gives you a crazy, crazy strong color and really, really intense pigment. And it's gonna take a little bit of practice before I'm ready to do the video on how to use this on um, adult coloring books. I'm almost there, but it's gonna take me a couple more weeks to really get to it and really show you um, all the stuff that I learned. Um, in being able to use this, but these are the original colors. This wasn't it. Oh, no, no, this is something. This is different. This is, I'm also going to show you that, but that's something that's a little different. Okay, so these are the original colors that came in the set that I got, and then I use this. So, what I learned is I was using entirely too much pigment. So, um, there'll be some more practicing, um, but it'll be, a, it's been a lot, a lot of fun. And I really like, as you see me, how much, how many different watercolor mediums I've been trying out. Cause I really kind of like the, the water soluble media, but anyway, so this has been all the colors that came in the set and you can see how vibrant and bold these colors are. Look at this red. Good God. Good God. That's a bright red. Um, so there is that. So that's that for that. Um, so that's that for the stuff that, this is all stuff that my wife bought me. So that's that for the stuff that my wife bought me. But, um, I also got some stuff in the mail 
that will be future reviews. So first thing that's going to be a future review is going to be these, which I got to review. Um, these are um, core uh, watercolor paints. So that's amazing. And I got this tube. So that's part of the reason why I got the palette so that I can use the tube and um, show you some some uh, trips, some tips and tricks on using tube paint for doing your watercolor. Um, so that's pretty exciting. And when that video is up, there will be a link to that video here when it's up. But when this first, when this video first goes up, there, there, this video is not up. But when this video is actually up, there'll be a link right there. So um, these were the colors that were sent to me, which is really like a vibrant. This is called the High Chroma Set. Plus, I got a few extra colors in addition to the high chroma set. Um, and this will be a lot of fun to work with. And I have, I know exactly the book that this would be perfect for. So I'm super excited on that. And I just got these in the mail as well. Like I just got these um, yesterday in the mail. So I haven't even had a chance to play with these. These are M. Graham. So these are M. Graham. And these are also artist grade um watercolor media so um these are watercolor paints uh let me see if i can open it and show you so these are vibrant watercolor paints look how look how vibrant that is i'm super super excited um to get a chance to try these as well so and then i will have the watercolor block so that um i can maximize and get the most out of this and i'm going to show you how to transfer your images into the watercolor block so that you can then take your artist grade materials and really really get the most out of them so that's super exciting um also for review, I got this really cute tiny book in the mail. Um, and um, I'm going to post links. When a video first, I'm going to post links to all this stuff. This is something that I was working on. Um, so this is a really cute travel book. I'm actually going to keep this in my purse as my travel book. So that's super exciting. This also just came in the mail yesterday. Um, this is a coloring book um also because a few people have asked me to not just review the harry potter books and the joanna brasford but also the the lesser known the sort of independent artist so this is from an independent artist and uh, she has these cute little cards um which i really really enjoy um i think i i almost like the cards better than the book itself uh, the only thing i wish is that this was on watercolor paper um I'm telling you, I'm I'm falling in love with this whole watercolorness. And then this is the the pictures in the book. This isn't our full review of anything. This is just me showing you um, what came in the mail. These two books came. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna have to pan out. These two books actually these came a few weeks ago, but um, I haven't been able to review them because um, Bella dropped a hairball on them, and I actually had to wash the book with water and rinse off the sides to get everything out. But this book is going to be in, and I don't know if you guys have seen, but I put together a a um, a playlist of coloring books for men. So this book is going to be in that playlist when that review goes up. And again, there'll be a link to it either right here or down below when that review is up. And this is another um, book about birds. This one, this is definitely a big contender for transferring onto watercolor paper so that I can watercolor with these, um, especially since they have those big open spaces. Yeah, this is a truly serious contender for watercolor. Um, so there is that and that's it. That's everything. Um, it's a lot. So there's a lot to work on and the cats are feeling super playful, which means I gotta go because I can sense trouble already. Thank you guys so much for staying with me. I really appreciate it. Um, subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Like the video if you like the video. Um, considering leaving a tip because those help. Like I said before, um, the people have already who have already left a tip have helped fund a um, monopod, which will help me do... Um, videos in more locations and do the videos the couch tutorials without the shakiness that's going to be really really amazing and i'll be able to do many more of those so that's exciting um and that's about it so thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys um in a few days for my next video um i hope everybody had a great christmas um tell me in the comments below what you got for christmas um, what you wish you had gotten, but also tell me in the comments if you gave everybody anybody anything interesting like I gave my my wife a, um, a Tennis racket bag because she's a tennis player 
Um, so not a professional. She's like an amateur tennis player. So I gave her a um, a tennis bag for her tennis rackets, and there'll be a picture of that if I can figure out how to do the pictures. Um, and that's about it. So thank you guys, and I will see you guys next time. Enjoy, and I hope you guys had a happy holiday, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.